You've been waiting all summer long and now that wait is finally over. It's time to say hello, hello Kent. Kent. Yes, hello and welcome to KTV's special coverage of Welcome Week 2012. Every day this week we'll be uploading a brand new video at 12pm onto our website. Just head over to ktvlive.co.uk to get the latest episode. But here's what's coming up on today's show. To start the show we'll be taking a look back at Saturday and Sunday, including all of the action for Moving In Weekend. After that we'll be revealing the first two of our top 10 freshest tips. Then we'll be giving you a chance to play a prank on your housemates and star on KTV. And then to finish off the show, we'll be taking a look at everything on tonight. But first, Saturday and Sunday were the two days that hundreds of freshers flocked to campus for the first time. And we sent Rob down to see how they're settling in. Hi there, we're here on the first day of Welcome Week and let's catch up with some of the brand new freshers who are signing in today. What was the most essential item that you brought to you? What's the first thing you bought, the first thing you packed that you definitely needed? Fairy lights. <laughs> so we're really cosy. Um, it's, um, it's clothes, I suppose. Clothes. Fairly essential for most walks of life. Probably clothes and then photos of pictures of friends and family, that kind of thing. Do you have a message for your daughter? Do you have a... I'll miss you, Sarah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, we wanted to have a really good time and to behave ourselves. I thought she was going to say don't come back. But... <laughs> One message is enjoy yourself, work That's hard, it. and enjoy, enjoy yourself. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> now that everyone's signed in, let's head over to the accommodation blocks to see how everyone's getting on. Ella, don't bring too much stuff next time. <laughs> so it looks like the freshers settled in quite well and it was great to see the Welcome Week helpers getting out in force as well. And I think, Alison, there's been quite a lot of appreciation for them as well on Twitter. There certainly has, Alex. There have been tons of tweets for the Welcome Week helpers. Um, there's one from Ashley Harris saying, Uni today, I've never been more scared. Don't worry, Ash, it's going to be great. You're going to have the best few years of your life. <laughs> and we've got one here from Steph who says... Uh, she was at the venue Saturday night and got covered in pain. I was there as well and did too. Now, if you want to get in contact with KTV, it couldn't be more simple. Just head over to Facebook and search for KTV over there to find our page. Or you can tweet us at Kent underscore TV or use the hashtag ThisIsKTV. And all of that information is on our website, www.ktvlive.co.uk. Now, every day of the week, we're going to be counting down our top 10 freshest tips. So it's over to Laurie with the first two. During Welcome Week, it can be very tempting to spend all of your money. This can be very bad because you don't actually have your loan. Remember to always shield your pen. Remember to always keep emotionally casting you and try not to go into your overdraft. Hi guys. Another tip for you here. Whenever you're on campus and you feel like you're going to need some help, always call these guys, Campus Watch. Now, when you're going to go off campus, make sure to have a taxi number in your phone. Well, that was great advice, Laurie. Um, I managed not to spend my whole student loan in the first week. What about you? Tempting, wasn't it, to go to Essentials or something and buy everything in there? But no, I was quite good with my budgeting as well, I'm well glad done. to say. Now it's time for you to get involved with KTV. We are running our first competition of the year and we're looking for pranksters out there. What we need you to do is prank your housemate, take a video of it on your phone and then send it to us using the hashtag on Twitter, this is KTV. Something similar to this. Now this is one thing you can do with the Inquirer newspaper after you've finished reading it. How about postering your friend's room from head to toe with the paper. Look, even the pillow there is covered in the newspaper. So that's what you've got to do to get involved. Now let's take a look at this evening and tomorrow's events. Right, tonight we've got Fresh Book at the venue and I can't wait to see everybody's t-shirts. And then we've got Rocky Oki at the attic and you get to sing with a live rock band. Yeah, how cool is that? Also can't wait to see those t-shirts. I'm a bit worried about what some people write on them. But now, 
You can go on a tour around Canterbury tomorrow between 11 and 3. All you have to do is meet outside the library. Tours are running, as I say, between 11 Hi and 3. Hi everyone, welcome to Kent. We're KTV and we're going to show you all the way around campus and all the important buildings and everything you need to know about them. As you follow the main road up to the university, you'll pass Kane's bus stop and then you'll get your first glimpse of Central Campus. This is Kane's College. This is an accommodation block and also has plenty of lecture and seminar rooms inside. Kane's College is also host of the summer festival every year at the university, Kane Stock. This is the venue. The venue is a student union run nightclub and is the biggest on campus. Above the venue is the Attic. The Attic hosts a number of live music nights and on Wednesday the 19th of September is hosting our very own student media takeover. This is your brand new Essentials, where you can buy everything from your weekly food shop to stationery. This is Elliot College. This is an accommodation block and is also home to Mungo's, which hosts massive Mungo's nights and monkey shine comedy. This is Templeman Library. During exam period, you'll be spending a lot of time here. Some of the campus accommodation has great views of Canterbury, such as Rutherford College, which is behind me, and Tyler Court, which is split up into A, B and C. This is Darwin College. It's one of the biggest colleges on campus and is home to Origins Bar. Now, last night was student media night at the attic. Yeah, it was. It was a great success. We even caught our creative director, David, on the dance floor. Here is what happened. So it looks like everyone had a fantastic time at the attic for the student media takeover and the same can be said for everyone downstairs at the venue for the school disco. Now though, it's time for this. Some say he's got over six trench coats in his wardrobe. And that they're all the same colour. All we know is, it's Laurie's top tips. On popular nights in the venue, the queue can be staggering. So make sure to buy a pass or get here early. Be sure to lock your door and always let your key. You don't want to lock yourself out at two in the morning. Now, yesterday was the science sphere and it's time to go and take a look at what happened. It's fantastic! <laughs> We're friends of Science Society. Come and join. Who doesn't love dead people? Join G24! Keep him up! Check that out. Join now, football fans. Go. Hello. There you go. Hello there. Would you like to join the Real Ireland Science Society? Hello. 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 So that was Society's Fair, it all looked good and it's great to see so many people signing up and becoming parts of the new society. Now though, it's time to take a look at the weekend's events. Yeah, tonight at Venue we've got Addicted to Bass. It opens up at 8pm so make sure you get there early. Yep, and then looking ahead at tomorrow, it's the big one, it's the Freshers Ice Ball. Doors open at 8 o'clock, make sure you get there early though, the queues will be massive for this one. It's staying open late till 4am and it's going to be a fantastic night. That is, I'm afraid, all we've got time for. <laughs>